ओम ज्ञान तिवेंद्रस्यानाजनाशलख्यामेतनाथ नम श्रीचेतनिया मनोवेस्ता स्थाता मेन भूतले जय श्री कृष्ण चेतन हरे हरे कृष्ण इन दी इन श्रीमद भगवत कैंसो चैप्टर थर्टी वन नंद मुनि स्टेटेड एज फॉलो किम जन्म बींग एज थ्री कैंड ऑफ बर्थ फर्स्ट बर्थ इज माई प्योर फादर एंड मदर दिस बर्थ इज कॉल बर्थ बाई सी मैन नेक्स्ट बर्थ टेक्स प्लेस मन इज इनिशियटेड The spiritual master. This birth is called Vita. The third birth, called Yagika, takes place when one is given the opportunity to worship Lord Vishnu. Despite the opportunity for attaining such birth, even if one gets the lifespan of a demigod, if one does not actually engage in service to the Lord, everything is useless. So now the Muni is instructing the Prajeetas. The Prajeetas were the sons of King Prajna Varishad, and now the Muni is very pleased by their austerities. So now the Muni is stating that a civilized human being has three births. Okay. So a human being has three births. The first birth is from the womb of the mother, and this birth is called Shokra Janma. Shokra in Sanskrit means semen, and Shokra Janma means birth as a result of seminal discharge. And this birth is common both to human beings and to animals. Can you all hear in the four corners? Yes. yes. Clear. So the first birth is birth as a result of seminal discharge. And this is called Shokra Janma. To achieve this birth, the one's body is no big credit. The second birth is realized when one gets initiated. It is a chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra, just like in today's program. Over 25 candidates are accepting initiation in the chanting of the holy name. So this is your second birth, and because it is your second birth, you also get a spiritual name. And next to the spiritual name, is the word. Das or Dasi, it means servant of the Lord. And the third word is realized when one gets in, initiated into the chanting of the Gyatri Mantra. This is called Yagi Ka Janma. And as a result of this third word, one may become eligible to dress the deities, offer arthi to the deities. In the program today, several candidates are taking initiation into the chanting of the holy name, and several are taking initiation into the chanting of the Yatra Mantra. The Vedas say, "Human form of life should be used for self-realization." In our Eastern society, Hari Nam Diksha 
can be awarded to one who chanted the holy name for at least two years in most places. And one agrees to follow four principles. No meat, fish, and eggs, no intoxication, no illicit sex life. These four, when executed, become the pillars of spiritual life. And when they are not executed, they become the pillars of sinful, sinful life. So, is a standard been given to us by Prabhupada. So, to chant the holy name is the prime process for making spiritual advancement. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said, the one may go on chanting, holy name, both of the both, but if one does any way the offenses, he will not develop love of God. Bhau Janma Kare Yari Shavana Kirtana, Sabhutana Paya Krishna Pare, Premadana. Krishna Kavira says, one may go on chanting, holy name, both of the both, and as one comes to avoid the offenses, you will not get full benefit. You may chant around, but what is recommended in the scriptures is to chant without offenses. Broadly speaking, the ten offenses that the sages talk about. In every Iskon temple, after the morning program, we recite the ten offenses. Why? Well, the ten offenses are very important to everyone if you want to make spiritual advancement. If you commit offenses, you can't make spiritual advancement. The first offense is, who knows the first offense? What is the first offense? Huh? Pleasant to what they have dedicated. It's pretending to be in So, envy, jealousy, sometimes inspires us to criticize. So we should not indulge in fault finding or criticizing. We should not indulge in fault finding just because of, uh -huh. envy. Just because of envy. If we have something constructive to offer, that can be presented. But our actions should not be motivated by an envy. Lord Chaitanya is the Supreme Lord, and He will be compassionate to everyone. Lord Chaitanya, being the Supreme Lord, will be compassionate. The devotees will say, and merciful to everyone, but not to your mother. And the Lord will say, my mother has offended. What was her offense? She had a certain anger against Advaita Charya. She thought that he was responsible for influencing her two sons to be evil. So Lord Chitan said, and as my mother had told she will not get love of God. And once when the Lord was revealing his transcendent leader, Mother Sachi was offering obeisances. And the Chaya was offering obeisances. And Sachi came from behind and took the dust from the feet of Adveda Chaya. And then the Lord said, Now my mother will develop love of God. So the Lord showed by his example that even his mother, if she commits an offense, it is not, it's not advisable. The second offense is to, what is the second offense? It's the name of Jamie God to be equal to or independent of the holy name of the Lord Vishnu. Holy names of the Lord are not different from the Lord. Before we came to Krishna consciousness, 
most of us believed. All gods are one, take any path, and it will be the same. All right? Now, when you come to Krishna consciousness, you get the training. Ishvara Parma Krishna, Sachidananda Vikra. Krishna is the supreme, all others are subordinate. So to think that all gods are one, take any path, the result is the same. It is wrong. The Vedas say Krishna is the supreme. Eka Ishvara Krishna, Arsabrataya. Krishna is the only proprietor, all others are subordinate. So we should understand that Krishna is the Supreme Lord. Just like by watering the root of the tree, you water all the branches. Similarly, by worshipping the Supreme Lord, all the demigods and goddesses also taken care. We should not be in any doubt regarding who Krishna is and who the demigods are. The next offense is to what is the third of us? This is the way he should have the spiritual master. And then I have to be in order to be The way they say, to obtain spiritual knowledge, we should take shelter of a bona fide guru. What is the qualification of the guru? Vacha Vega Manasa Krodha Vega. Jiva Vega Mudara Pasta Vega. One must have full control over his mind and sense. What is the desire of the Guru? The desire of the Guru is that the disciple may get attached to Krishna, the Supreme Lord. And the Guru presents the teaching of the Parampara as it is, just like Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada gave us a pure teaching without any distortion at all. So the Guru is, as Prabhupada used to say, a spiritual postman who delivers the message of the Lord as it is. And the desire of the Guru is that the disciples make spiritual advancement. The instructions are for our benefit. So we should with faith follow these instruction. We should not think that the spiritual master's duty is to flatter me or praise me. The duty of the spiritual master is to preach by example. Once there was a there was a boy suffering from diabetes. So his mother would tell him all the time, stop taking sugar, it's not good for your health. The boy did, would not stop. Finally, the mother took her son to the Guru and said, Guruji, this son of mine has very high diabetes and he won't stop eating sugar. Please tell him to stop. The Guru said, come back after two weeks. So the two weeks they went back and the Guru said, son, no more sweets. It's bad for your health. And the son said, Okay, Guruji, I won't do it. So the mother was surprised. And Guru just said one word. And the son agreed. So he said, you see, I said, Guru. If this is all you had to do, why didn't you do it two weeks ago? And the Guru said, Two weeks ago, I was eating sugar myself. How could I do that? Now I stopped it. So the Guru preaches by example. And the desire is the disciple makes spiritual advancement. So getting initiated has value only if we are serious about spiritual advancement. Prabhupada used to say, don't get initiated just because you think. It's a fashion. You get initiated only if you're ready to follow her principles. You're serious about spiritual advancement. To think that 
So we are the non relevant in today's environment. It's also in offense. Vedas contain eternal wisdom and properly established Krishna consciousness all over the world. And show that the Vedic message is not an eternal. So to think that Vedas are not relevant today is an offense. We should not think that the glory of the holy name are an exaggeration. The scriptures say, so, to think that the glory of the Holy Name is an exaggeration is a great offense. To commit sins on the strength of chanting, Prabhupada is to say, this is the most serious of all of us. He can do anything. Now I'm initiated. I got initiated in front of the deities, so I can commit offenses. I'll be forgiven. It's a great offense. We should not commit sins on the end of chanting. One should be careful that he doesn't sin anymore. Prabhupada often used to say, no more sinning. So we should not commit sins on the strength of the the strength of chanting the holy name. This chanting of the holy name is not some karma karna activity. Karma karna is a type of business engagement with the Lord. The the, the devotee wants to develop pure love of God. We don't preach the message to the faithless. To maintain material attachment, in spite of chanting the holy name, is also an offense. And one should not be inattentive while chanting. In the scriptures we read about the attachments we need to give up. Shaitanya Mahaprabhu said, accept what is favorable, reject what is unfavorable. So we are we have taken initiation. And we still keep all our attachments. So that is a, an offense. We read the books, hear the lectures, and we realize what is auspicious, what is inauspicious. Except what is favorable, reject what is unfavorable. So to maintain the material attachment is a great offense. One should be attentive while chanting the holy name. The holy name is not different from the Lord. Namajin Dhamni Krishna, Chaitanya Rasa Viraha, Purna Shuddha Nitya Mukta, Venatva Namana Viraha. Holy name is non different from the Lord. So when we chant the holy name, especially when we're chanting our 16 rounds, our effort should be to chant attentively. It really doesn't mean that your mind won't wander. Let the mind wander, but you concentrate on one activity, chanting the holy name. Not that I'm chanting with one hand and with the other hand doing something else. The more attentive we are in chanting, the better will be your spiritual advancement. So we should be very attentive in chanting. Especially when you're doing a 16 rounds every day. That should be done very attentively. When you call this in other auspicious days, our goal should be to chant 25 rounds. So those who accept initiation must agree to follow by these guidelines. And to make spiritual advancement, we should realize the importance of Shravana man. Kirtanam. Kirtanam are very important words. Shravana Kirtanam are very important. In the Kina Krishna Conscious Movement, as you know, Prabhupada gave us a real message. 
אין מי שביין כשיש לנו סיימת. וכן אלה שאין אין בכל, ואין אין מי שאין אין אדוונסמנט. ספיישל אדוונסמנט מין, getting attached to the holy name, getting attached to the scriptures, developing the mood of humility. Humility on the spiritual path is an asset, and a goal should be to develop humility and consider oneself to be a servant of the Lord, all the way to us. So we hope that all those candidates accepting in any accepting my name diksha today they'll take it very seriously they will follow these standards and be determined to make spiritual advancement Prabhupada gave us very valuable knowledge in his books so we should regularly study these books and if we regularly study these books you will be able to make spiritual advancement. The main devotees today were also accepting initiation into the chanting of the Gyasi Mantra. In the case of the initiation, in the chanting of the Gyatri Mantra, the Brahminical initiation is awarded after one has chanted the holy name for a period of time and one has passed a Bhakti Shastri exam and one has exhibited good behavior and character. According to Vedic philosophy, Chaturvana Maya system, Guna Karma Vibhagasa. One becomes a Brahmin on the basis of Guna. So Brahmin must have Brahminical qualities. And these are mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 18, text 42. Shamodha Matava Socha, Shanti Rajiva Nevacha. Jnana Vigana Masekya, Brahma Karma Samagaya. So Brahman must cultivate these qualities and exhibit them in his behavior. Now that I become a Brahman, it means I can act in any way that I want. Once somebody asked Prabhupada, Swami, you can do some magic. Prabhupada said, No, I can't do any magic. But well, then he paused and said, but what magic I've done? So the man was very curious. What magic has Prabhupada done? I have converted thousands of lectures into Brahmana. So those who are addicted to nonsense activity, he brought them the standard of being dead in Brahmana. So those who are is a ring initiation into the chanting of the Gyatri Mantra, which is called Yagi Kajanma. You must exhibit these qualities. You must be idle in behavior. And you must also have spiritual knowledge. Of course, over here, many devotees get recommended to Brahmanical initiation so that they can do daily worship and they can do it has a quality that many of the devotees in the name Brahman have given this as the reason for the rest of the name Brahman. So we should be ready to serve. DD means worshiping the Lord. The Lord manifests himself in his archivical form. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave Five items, priority. One was Sadhu Sangha. The second was more chanting the holy name. Next was studying the scriptures. And the next one was worshiping the deity with faith and love. So the Lord manifests himself 
in the Asha Vigrapa. This is not just a murti. Our understanding should be here is God and he has a golden opportunity for us to engage in Seva. So those who are accepting Brahman must worship the deity, do service to the deity, and by doing so, make spiritual advancement. A Brahman must have good character. He must have transcendental knowledge. He should be peaceful. He must believe in austerity. Austerity in spiritual life means sacrificing what is, what is detrimental and accepting what is conducive. So we hope that all those who are taking Brahmanical initiation will regularly come and serve the deities in the temples and cook for the deities, etc. We should be exemplary Brahmin. So we hope that all the candidates accepting initiation today, they should realize they're taking their vows in front of their Lordship, Shivurnathai, in front of Radha Madhav, and in front of Jagannath Madhav. They're all witness to every commitment that you will make. And we should honor our commitments. So what are our, com- our com- 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 commitments? I will chant 16 rounds every day. Is that right? Yes. All of you agree? Yes. You're going to, you're going to acknowledge that. And there are several witnesses. Prabhupada, the Deity, the Vaishnavas, and all the video cameras that are around. <laughs> they all will certify. Yes, on this day, you took this vow. So if you break the vow, you become a criminal. And then you can't see that there was a day, you 25 rounds. And then we should also actually support the Krishna conscious movement. We, we, we chant the holy name. When we chant the holy name, what are we praying to the Lord? We are praying, please give me devotional service. Please give me devotional service. And when we get devotional service, we back out. So we should be anxious to serve, to spread this mission. And according to our means, we should also financially support the temple. And we should be determined to make spiritual advancement. We should regularly read Prabhupada books. Prabhupada books are available in virtually every language. So it doesn't matter what your mother tongue is, Prabhupada books are available. And we should read it. Those who have the ability to read must regularly read Prabhupada books and especially read a small book called Nectar of Instruction. So we hope that all of you will take your responsibility seriously and be an asset to the Krishna Kaiser movement and be determined to make spiritual advancement. Is that okay? Okay, Hare Krishna. So, it's a little late, so we have a fast track process of any initiation. Dinadhan Maharaj is going to sit. Where will you sit? Dinadhan Maharaj is going to sit in the corner there, and we'll call the names out. So, first you go to Dinadhan Maharaj. And he asked you the Guru Mantra and the Four Regulated Principles. And if you answer correctly, then you come to me and I will give you your beads and your name. Is that okay? So we'll call five names at a time. 
you go and offer dhanabhas to Prabhupada, and then you go to Nathan Maharaj, you chant the Prabhupada and explain the four principles, and then you come to me. This way we'll save time. Okay. We have a better name. Bring it over on that side. Where are the beat? Where are the beat? Oh. You, you want to call the name? Call five names at a time. Give me, give me the name. Give me, give me the name. Okay, first one is Ashish Palival, then Chad Ingold, Jaitender Kumar Lutra, Jigar Shah, Pankaj Singh. Again, Ashish Paliwal is first. Give me the name. Give me the name. Give me the, give me the name. Give me the name that I have to give. Yes, these are the names. We want the slips. Do you want the paper? Yes. Give me the paper. Give me the paper. Give me the paper. Put them, put them in the order. Yeah, in the same order. Then put one, two, five. Oh, yeah, say. Yeah. Yeah. Prabhu, Prabhu, you have to move forward. All these names are equally powerful. So please don't think you got a better name than me. <laughs> your spiritual advancement is not going to be based on your name. It's going to be based on your effort. You went to Maharaj? Yes, sir. Someone has a Mridanga, Kartas. Loudly, you have to. Who has the Mridanga? To eat, eat. Okay. Kartals, the Wampers. We play the Kartal and Mridanga in honor of the new candidate. So, give me beads. Give me the beads on this side. Give me the beads on the Give me the beads on the left side. Yes, I don't give the left side. Use. Ashish Pali Along with your name, we are giving you a slip. In that slip, your spiritual name is mentioned, plus the meaning of the name. So, Ashish, your spiritual name is Achintya Manohar Das. Now, now you move forward and over obedience. Achintya Manohar Das Ki. They move ahead and offer a basis. Make sure. Make sure you take a slip with you. You can have a slip with your paper. Chad Ingo. Yeah. 
Chaitanya Srinivas Das Very often business, the deities and the Prabhupada. And this is a slip. Chaitanya Srinivas Prabhu. Call, call the next five. Okay. Punit well. Sethi, Ravindra Bindesh, Santil Kumar, Umesh Kucharya, and Yogeshwaran Subraman. Okay, Bangai Singh. It's in the Kumar Lutra. The spiritual name is. The spiritual name is. Jagat Pran Sham Das. Jagat, Jagat Pran Sham Das. Jagat Pran Das Ki Jai. You go ahead and offer a business. Otherwise, there will be traffic jam. What is it? What's your name? Who is next? Pankashin. Is it? Pankashin. Pankashin. Yes. Yes. Where did you send that Which center? Atlanta. Atlanta. Pankashin. Your spiritual name is Partha Priya Murari Das. Partha Priya Murari Das. Sometimes husbands take a Krishna consciousness and the wife joins later. And the wife is taken the husbands join later. So you are a good example. Yaksha is a doctor. So his spiritual name is Jagadish Mahaprabhu Das. <laughs> Jagadish Mahaprabhu Das. Hariyo. Did you get your slip? Give me the other names. Give me the names. Give me the names. Oh, give me the names. Yes. Give, give me. Yes, yes. This one is your name. You are the one who came from Toronto. Yes, yes, Guru. Yogeshwar Supramaniam. His spiritual name is Yogeshwar Madhusudan Das. Yogeshwar Madhusudan Das. Take it, Prabhu. Prabhu, you go ahead and offer it to me.
This is yeah. the Kuchin. Amesh 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 Kuchin. Amish Kacharya, you are in Charlotte. Amish Kacharya, a spiritual name is Vadao Giri Dhari Das Adhikari. Udhava Giri Dhari Das Ki. What's your name? Punit Sethi. Punit Sethi. Punit Sethi. Yes. Your spiritual name, spiritual name is Pamananda Chaitanya Dasari. Pamananda Chaitanya Dasari. Yes, Sanchin. Give me a beat. What's your name? Sanchin Kumar Maharaj. Guru Maharaj. Sanchin Kumar. Where are you from? I'm from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. New London. Send it, come on. Your spiritual name is very special. All your names are special. Very special. Spiritual name is Srinivas Pundarik Das. Srinivas Pundarik Das. Call the next one. Yeah, no, Mataji's will call. Um, okay, Aarti Mahajan, Arjuna Babuta, Bhumati Vimal, Gayatri Paliwal, and Gunavanti Shukla. And please come in the order that he announces. Yeah, Aarti Mahajan, Arjuna Mataji, Bhumati Mataji, Gayatri Mataji, then Gunavanti Mataji. What's your name? Ravindra Bindi. Ravindra Binde, your spiritual name is Raghunath Guranga Das. Raghunath Guranga Das Ki.
The priest can start getting ready. In another ten minutes. Panti Mahajan, you have several initiated devotees in your family. Say a spiritual name in it. Aradhya Radhika Devi Dasi. Aradhya Radhika Devi Dasi ki. And a slip, your name and the meaning of the name is there. Archana Bhagavata. Archana Bhagavata. Your special name is Aruna Purnamasi Devidasi. Aruna Purnamasi Devidasi ki. Don't forget the slip. <laughs> Mm. Yep, that's my that's my question. Good one, Good one, Good one, Good one, Good one, Gurmanti Yasoda Devidasi. Gurmanti Yasoda Devidasi ki. What is it? This is the Okay, okay. Uh, Jyoti Sonik Mataji, Nidhi Goswami, Shivangi Yogeshwaran, Superior Rai, and Varsha Ben Patel. What's your name? Bhumati. Bhumati Vema. Your spiritual name is Braja Vilasini Gorangi Devidasi. Thank you, Maharaj. Give me a new name and you have given me a new name. Thank you very much. Be a good devotee. Raja Vilasini Gaurangi Devi Dasi Ki Gayati Brajeshwari Devi Dasi. And both your parents named you Gayatri, so you kept that and added it. Okay. Gayatri Rajeshwari Devi Dasi Ki!
There were 25 candidates for Brahminical initiation. After the yagya, I can come to my room and I'll give you the Gyanti Mantra. Yoti is Sonic. Yoti is Sonic. His spiritual name is Janaki Vishnu Priya Devidati. Janaki Vishnu Priya Devi Dasi Ki Nikunja Lila Mai Devi Dasi Ki That's it. And how many candidates for Brahman? We have 27. We'll, we'll announce them. Okay. Vimla Ravo, Viran Kucheria, and Yogita Bindesh, they all can come in that order. What's your name? Vajini Yes. You are going to Your spiritual name is Sneamai Madhvi Devi Dasi. Sneamai Madhvi Devi Dasi Ki. Vaishnavi Devi Dasi Ki Bangi Gorangi Devi Dasi. 
शुभंगी गौरंगी देवी दासी की विशाखा कलावती देवी दासी विशाखा कलावती देवी दासी की सोदा के पमाई देवी दासी यशोदा के पमाई देवी दासी की ओके दिस इज़ द लास्ट वन सो गेट्स गेट गोइंग दिस इज़ द फास्ट ट्रैक प्रोसेस The slow track would have taken half an hour more. प्रिया गौरांगी देवी दासी की सो ओम दो खड़े नाम रिमेम्बर Okay. Okay. You okay?